thankfully these guys do have an ultrasound machine, so by using that, I should be able to get an answer as to what's happening. Okay, so I reckon we start around this, this middle area here. Yep. Okay, so we're getting a bit of stomach here, yep. but it's empty stomach, yep. which is hopefully a good sign. Just working our way down here, the area at the top of the screen there, yep. where we've got the little circle, that looks like a gallbladder and I think it's a liver around it. We still don't have anything that's causing the swelling yet. So far, we've found a liver, a gallbladder, but no answers as to what's going on here. Okay. So that area is moving. I'm pretty sure that is actually intestine there. Now, if we had a blockage there, that shouldn't be contracting. Okay. Chris is now certain that gas or a blockage isn't causing Fifi's problem. So we're going to have to keep on searching because right now we actually don't have any answers. Yep. See that? As Chris moves the probe over Fifi's belly, he notices something very unusual. Uh, something in there is about half a centimetre wide, but a couple of centimetres long with vertebrae. Finally, after all this searching, we've got an answer. Turns out it's answers. Mate, I think she's got babies. That would be fantastic because Fifi didn't breed last year and she was in a, a breeding program last year, so you do start to wonder if maybe she's too old now. Oh, that's, that's unreal. We don't just have babies, we've got live babies. <laughs> Which is the best kind. Yeah. So what about how many? Yeah, Any idea? I knew you'd ask that. <laughs> well, I need that now to better prepare, I mean. So they're venomous the day they're born, aren't they? From day dot, yep. As soon as they're out, they're ready to go. Wow, you've got, <laughs> I'd say at least 16 and, and I'd be thinking more like around 20. Well, I'm ecstatic to hear that Fifi's actually pregnant. You, you do worry that that swelling was going to be something nasty, but the fact that it means that she's got potentially 20 babies there that I've now got to prepare for, I'm over the moon. Considering what that swelling could have been. <laughs> Fantastic that's, outcome. That is a great outcome. And not just that, I mean, she's carrying them and carrying them very well. So, Fifi, congratulations. Normally there's a kiss involved at this time, but I, I think we'll pass on that. Maybe not today.